Okay, overall, Orc is definitely uh, our speed. You know, it's an area that is kind of packed full of enemies as its main uh, gimmick, I guess. And so that definitely works on my end. I'm going to buy a bunch of these potions, largely just to get a free ID off them. In fact, I'll probably come back to that shop to do that more if we don't find too much else on sale that's interesting to us. You summon demonic beasts on bite as an obsidian bat. Now that's interesting. 300% speed makes sense. Well, fortunately they're relatively squishy, but I could see them being a bit more of a pain in the rear down the road. We shall see, I guess. And will I ever be able to give up the shillelagh now that I've used it for this long and fallen in love with the, uh, even just the UI. Again, it's so satisfying whenever the explosion goes off for the shatters. It's hard to fight that. Giant Club Skull Crusher, I think, always existed. But I don't recognize that sprite. Maybe it's been just too long since I saw it, and that's been around for a while. But regardless, cool, cool, cool. And unfortunately, it's mostly amulets and rings for sale. Which I guess that's something that we haven't been mentioning in the last couple of kind of reviews of the Cogling, not having rings and necklaces is definitely interesting in its own right. Okay, scroll of vulnerability. Which scrolls do we have left? Because we have a stack of two there. Really could be any of the above. I would like brand weapon. If I could brand this war axe and still have a leftover one for when we hopefully find a broad axe down the road, then that would be very handy. See, I'm going to buy a couple lig, why not? Potion of magic, it's expensive and I don't really need it, but it's essentially an ID at this point, so I'll take that. Mark the potion of mutation is something to very likely come back to in the future. And whoo-wee, that is our orc. Done and dusted, fantastic. Well, we did end up getting a little bit of an upgrade here. I also probably should have been using Heavenly Storm a little bit there. We are just in such large groups of enemies, and that's where that kind of fully flourishes and shines, but it is what it is. Okay, and all of our upstairs actually group together on a single floor this time. Very rare for Orc to be Ooh, set up in that fashion. Yep, okay, I'm out. This is not worth it. In fact, let us just drop one of those bad boys. That stairwell is not going to be treating us very nicely here today. Hopefully this one is. Okay, definitely better. I'll take it. And let you come my way. And at least we have the, the rampage step. Barbara. The barbs. Um, uh, hmm. can I sneak one by you here? Not really, eh? Could maybe make it to the stairs, but it's a lot of steps. I have two more fear scrolls available. Maybe what we do is we actually turn our charms on a little bit. Let you two fight to the death as I tear myself apart <laughs> with the barbs. Holy moly. Not ideal by any stretch. Let's also make sure we actually take the fear scrolls off our quiver before I inevitably throw like three of them in rapid succession without really paying attention to what the heck it is that I'm doing. If I could break you up, or you made it to me was kind of the, the goal there, the idea. But that's fine. And back on the road again. Kill you before you have chance to fully form is wonderful. And not too shabby. Oh my gosh, the two ended up being torment of all things. Not exactly what we're looking for. These centaur warriors, I should also probably be taking full advantage of the uh, serpent slash effect to try and get things rolling. We don't have fire resistance, so... Serpent Slash. Just to play it safe, get some free attacks in. Love it. 
and not too shabby. Oh, I have a resistance to electricity. It's the one time I actually feel okay about just rushing headfirst into Lodul and friends. Lodul and company here. Beautiful. Not too shabby. Oh, this seems... That looks like vaults entrance. Whenever I see humans, I get suspicious that it's a, you know, just vaults things, but maybe not actually. Turns out that I have no idea what I'm talking about, as is always the case, but it can easily be uh, forgotten in the moment here. And let's get some of these potions. Degeneration. There we go. A nice, easy piece of garbage that we can just immediately throw away. Okay, no, this definitely looks like Vault's entrance to me. Okay, Snorg here as well. I'm going to try out Heavenly Storm. It's something that I don't experiment with much. Wait a sec. Does this mean that Wujian is actually a pretty solid option for clearing Bolts 5? Because if I can limit view to this, everything around me is taking heavy damage. I'm getting my slain up there. Why not? Seems like it would... Uh, synergize well at the very least that's very neat never thought about it before and oh my gosh at some point the onslaught of enemies has to end right i just keep running in here head first because i expected it to be done ages ago but anyone else is there no one else doesn't seem to be Berserk Rage might actually have some functionality down the road if we just really need to grit our teeth and bear down on a fight, I guess. Still probably not ideal under the majority of circumstances, but... You know, open to the, the concept, at least in general. And I probably just want to avoid these kiddos as much as I possibly can. Centaurs over open water, not exactly everything uh, you're hoping and dreaming for on a day-to-day. -day. Coglins, peglins, the goblins are evolving too fast. <laughs> yes, who can keep track of the, the many, many subsects of, of gobos here? I do like the name Coglin, though. I feel like it, uh, it fits very nicely with the kind of techno... I don't know, what is, what would you call what goblin tinkerers are kind of known for? It's like, I guess, very steampunky. There's also a level of like almost built-in ineptitude. Like they're doing, achieving incredible results while still uh, failing to observe any of the fundamentals of engineering and development. Okay, Nessos, that's cool. Yeah, I'm turning you into one of these for sure. Should have done it earlier. Honestly, was feeling a little too overconfident in ourselves, but ends up getting the job done anywho. Holy moly. I should just drop an exclusion over the majority of that space so I don't accidentally walk into the, the thick of it anytime soon here, but... I needed this constriction to work on our Hydra friend. I think I killed them fast enough, actually. Hell yeah, brother. And my slimy pals should be able to damage you fast enough to keep everything nice and split up. So that was perfect. Plus four ring mail. Eh, doesn't really beat out. A scale mail here if just for the willpower honestly i'm pretty much just he here for the the willpower i know it just feels like i'm only here for the zip line you know okay here we go if they're in the shallow water wanda flame is gonna be my saving grace in fact if more of you could hang out in the shallow water that would be great no, yeah, just stay there. Don't change anything. Perfect. <laughs> Should get this mouse out of there as well. 
a uh, little bit of Barbara action. Those barbs are definitely the bane of our existence because we're very much kind of focused on the movement aspect. Especially under Wu Jian, but hey, it is what it is, and we're still making it through for the time being, so it's not like we can complain exactly. Holy moly, so that is probably Kirki around the corner. I don't want to kill any innocent pigs, but I might have to. Do I risk my life? I mean, I probably do, right? Lives of an innocent? In fact, potentially under risk of not having enough teleport strolls when it's actually strictly necessary, I am going to uh, teleport away and save our pig friend. Oh, Kirky, please be back here. If I could get you without your summons, it makes the moral quandaries of it all so much simpler to navigate. I can just murder. That uh that jives well with the adventurer mindset, you know? So fingers crossed and all that. Excuse me? Sorceress? Anyone? No? Not in the slightest, you say? Two shreds, you say? Okay, I'm using up all my flame charges here, and I actually once again did kind of want those for shoals in the future so let's instead just poison you up real real nice shall we is that enough probably not enough <gasps> there you go. okay here we go oh my gosh new strategy unlocked <laughs> just force them all to be my friends <laughs> can't believe i've never thought of it before Oh, oh, I almost killed them. Oof. Forgot about the shillelagh for a minute there. But all's well that ends well. Get me out of here, coach. And our lovely friend up here has returned to their, their original cheery self. I guess we actually had an added bonus there in regards to uh, keeping innocence alive. Because bringing the pig upstairs means that they don't immediately run headfirst into the other enemies on the floor since they get their uh, humanity back so that works out nicely and that is almost the entirety of the regular dungeon sorted out here not too shabby for you my friend i think we will fight again at the risk of finding friends that we left behind what the heck that was almost devastating. <laughs> yikes, yikes, yikes. But fortunately, nothing we can't handle. Never for a moment doubted it, of course. Such is our lives. Ah. Reach out and grab you, my friend. Blowing your mind in the process. I guess we do have all those mind burst wands for sale in the, the one shop uh, a ways down in Orcs. So we can be a literal or la rather a little liberal with our usages there. And you shouldn't be too much problem, my friend. Perfect. Holy moly. Have a bit of cold resistance again. It is mainly the... Uh... Interesting. Fire resistance that I'm concerned about for the future here. This scroll will be one of these, if it's, uh, geez, brain shut down. If it's summoning or butterflies, I think I got a short circuit as I couldn't decide which of the words I was trying to say first. Uh, either of those though, we don't want to read right away. The other two, I do want to read right away. Do I want to take this? It's actually slightly worse than a 50-50 since acquirement is, you know, supposedly more rare. I'll, I'll leave it for the moment. Potentially, we actually just run into an ID scroll right away, so would hate to feel wasteful if that is indeed the case. So we'll play it by ear and see how she goes, shall we? 
Hello, my birdie pals. Plus two buckler. No shot. I am full glass cannon build, baby. Ah, this looks like our depth's entrance. Oh, especially... That is sketchy as hell to have the... The earth shaman there. When we have green crystal walls around. Okay, let's separate you from the pack. I should probably bring you upstairs and separate you from the pack. Oh, I was about to say this might kill me, but never doubt in my mind. Okay, I don't really want to use a blinking, but that might be our best strategy here. Can't take another hit, at least realistically can't really take another hit. I could probably just swing away and win, but let's not be hasty, shall we? I'm going to play it safe. We're going to go with the uh, the blink here. Again, feels a little bit crappy when you immediately just mind burst one shot <laughs> the Eden, but rather make sure that we're not doing anything too stupid, you know? Shlele you, shlele you, and everyone gets a shlele. Holy moly. Well, that should be it. Fantastic regular dungeon finished off. And only a couple near-death experiences. Hurrah! We've done it. So let's actually head back to Lair 5 now. Feeling a little more competent and confident in our ability to deal with what the dungeon throws our way. So I'm feeling pretty solid about just running in here and dealing with all these sons of guns. In fact, might get some good loot out of it as well. Or not so much, but still fine by me. Resist electricity, resist poison. If we didn't already have those resistances, this would be an interesting offhand weapon to at least think about using, but let's not worry about that for the moment here, shall we? And beautiful. And oh my gosh, we get the dream set up. Kind of. There isn't that much, I guess, like, uh, here we go. This is what we want. So the shillelagh attack is just softening up all of the uh, subsequent death yaks as we go through. Truly just love to see it. Ooh, new Jivya altar sprite. <laughs> I like it. Feels uh, very goopy, I think, is the, the word that comes to mind. But we do get ourselves scroll of acquirement. Executioner's Axe, not going to cut it, my friend. I guess we probably just take the gloves here. The staff isn't great either. Again, the staves can be used as a supplementary offhand thing as well if it has egos that are kind of required for us. But here, meh. The dexterity will give us some, some more evasion. So that's nice. Maybe not uh, hugely game-changing, but I'll take nice at this point. I'm a simple man. Nice is good enough for me. Perfect. Is there any benefit to being a caster dual wheel and staves? You do, I believe, get both benefits. So the like uh, element amplification, if you're using spells that are mixed school, I think you can take advantage of that and kind of double up the spell power bonus. So that's pretty neat. And of course, you're also getting two different elemental damage types as well when you do swing with them. So I think there would be uh, pretty solid benefits to it for sure. I could see it being used above like a shield or an orb for sure. Uh, but... You know, I guess only time will tell as people get a bit more experience down with uh, the species here. But okie dokie, uh, shoals versus snake. I'm pretty decently set up for both. I have poison resistance, I have electricity resistance. Shoals, was I struggling, I guess, against some of the ranged enemies? And that's definitely prevalent in shoals. I currently have 17 charges on my flame wand. Do an old habits die hard. I'm probably gonna go to shoals first if just because that is my general routine. We'll see if that uh, burns us at all here, but 
Hopefully it won't be too bad. I do wish we had slightly more armor. 22 AC is starting to feel a little bit lackluster at this stage. Let's smash into you, my friend. Beautiful. I guess double polearm would be kind of interesting. Dual wielding tridents. Given the, the reach effect for multiple hits could potentially be uh, pretty game changing here. I'll definitely, hopefully take out our air snake first. Beautiful. And not too shabby. I will say, I feel like so far I have not been noticing the rev mechanic very much. I've mainly just going full bore into any fight that comes up and uh, and feeling like our damage is pretty solid even from the get-go. Which, I guess, sounds like I'm complaining, which is not the case. I'm very grateful that that is uh, how it all works out. Get the nice free step there, and then it's definitely time for us to run to our stairwell and fully recover. Fairly smooth start to Shoals here. Of course, we haven't really seen any enemies that would give us an undue amount of pause here. It's close with these uh, Aquamancers showing up. Always a little bit thunder and lightning, very, very frightening, but nothing we can't handle here so far especially if they decide to not hang out with the rest of their crew and face us 1v1 thank you for that i do again just appreciate the the thought vision all that good stuff and we are collecting nets if nothing else this has been a very uh, eventful trip for our net our aspiring net selling business Profits this quarter are going to be uh, up the wazoo, as the uh, the business folks say. Interesting. So I did see the Corrosion 2 again there, so that doesn't seem to be a monster-specific change, and maybe Corrosion and the way it stacks has been altered overall. So I'm curious to see how that will uh, continue to manifest. Are you purple because of throwing nets? No, it's because you have a trident of chaos. Where the heck are you getting that, my friend? Ooh, and this is definitely one to flame time. In fact, let us actually quiver it this time. Nothing quite like a steamed merfolk for all of your dietary needs. And beautiful. Okay, I should be maybe slightly more cautious. Finding these harpies is, again, a little bit more touch and go than I kind of expected going into it. But I guess it's still on the safe side of the uh, the equation at the end of the day. So let's not worry overly much about something that is by and large dealable and doable, shall we?